What's up everyone? John Renter from Techno Buffalo here. I've been using the QWERTY pack in BlackBerry Q10 for the better part of four days and I wanted to share my experiences with you. It's not a full review, but I have learned a lot about the phone. Let's go ahead and start talking. Here is the QWERTY Rockin' BlackBerry Q10. Uh, so I've been using the phone for about four and a half days, which for me is not enough time to do a full review. I'll do a full review uh, in about a week when I feel like I know the phone inside and out. But I've got a lot of first impressions that I want to share with you guys. I know this phone is coming uh, to all US carriers very soon. So let's run through what the phone's got. Let's start with the reason that you're here, probably watching this video, and that is these four rows down below the screen, that keyboard. So let me go ahead and show you an example of how well the keyboard works well you can't really tell but it works great it feels really nice to type on a physical keyboard and uh, it's really impressive um, so I've got it set to sort of suggest words you can turn that on or off if you use the old BlackBerry keyboard the 9900 it doesn't have that sort of smiley face look uh, but the keys are absolutely outstanding it feels really good and there's a very hard clickety clack feel uh, that you just don't get elsewhere um, so you're probably saying, what's the big deal about the keyboard? Uh, virtual keyboards were fine. BlackBerry Z10 had a good keyboard. And that is true. This phone is running uh, OS 10.1. Uh, well, you get a few things that you can't do with the Z10 by having this full physical keyboard. Uh, for example, I could type text. And I could text, say, text Rebecca if I want to text my wife. And it'll pull up a text message to her. Things you can't get. And you don't have that keyboard sort of always present. Same thing with call. I'm not going to show you it because it's going to pull in all kinds of numbers here. Uh, but it does work very well. In emails, you can go to the top and the bottom uh, by hitting shortcuts. It gives you access to a bit more shortcuts. Uh, some gripes I've had with it. So it's obviously a very gesture-based OS. No matter where you are, you always got to do a gesture swipe up to go home. So you swipe up and you go home. You don't have any sort of bezel here. So you almost have to start your gesture at the keyboard. I do it at the T and then do my swipe up. It's a little bit weird. Um, second, I know this is a 720 by 720 screen, so it means it's a perfect square, but it still seems very weird to me to not be able to go like this and have the screen rotate. And I know it would make no sense for it to rotate because it's exactly the same thing. It's just weird to hold the phone and not have it move. Uh, but I'm sure I will get very used to that. And while we're here on the browser, uh, I'm still very impressed with the browser uh, on BlackBerry 10. You still have the option, too, to turn on Flash if you want, which is not something that you get um, really very easily now on other operating systems, especially since Adobe stopped supporting it on Android, though you can still get it installed. Uh, it just works very well. It's been um, a very impressive browser. Although every time I see the icon for the browser, I still sort of think Ugh, it's going to be a bad experience just from old BlackBerry OSs. But this one works really well. Um, let's talk a little bit about BlackBerry World and the App Store. It is still not overly populated. There are not that many apps here, but it's kind of a double-edged sword here. So on one hand, do I knock it if you're not having that many apps? On the other hand, it is ridiculously easy to sideload applications on here. We just ran an article uh, on how to do it using only Chrome, uh, and it's really easy. So you get access to things that you wouldn't get access to otherwise. Um, sort of paramount among them, at least for me, would be that guy. Uh, Instagram is now living on here. And if you want to know how to do this, we'll put a link down below. It'll walk you through how to sideload. Um, other stuff, you can sideload pretty much any Android app. Uh, can be converted to have a .bar as the extension, and that's what runs on uh, BlackBerry 10. I've got speed test here, though it looks a little weird. Um, some of the apps obviously don't work perfectly or look perfect, but this is sort of gets shrunk a little bit, and these icons show up over those, but it does work. Uh, and it works as well as it does anywhere else. Uh, other apps I've sideloaded on here, some of my favorites. I've got Google Navigation, which is awesome. SugarSync for me is huge. Uh, the full Dropbox app, although out of the box, it does come with a Dropbox Connect. And I've got some sort of weird version of Google Maps called GPS Plus. I haven't really played around that much with it. Um, but sideloading is super easy. So yeah, there aren't that many apps. On the other hand, it's super easy to get them. I mean, ridiculously easy now. You don't have to worry about anything like rooting or having a jailbreak. I mean, honestly, it's a matter of plugging in your phone, setting an IP address, and putting in a password. Uh, and that is about it. So one of the issues I had with the Z10, I still have here, and that's with the dialer. It just strikes me as strange to have the dialer as app. Um, it just, it's just very, very odd to me to have a dialer as an application. I wish, and I know inherently it's an app in everything, uh, but at least for most phones, it's always running in the background, so there's that instant load. Uh, it just feels like it's always when I want to run it that i got to wait a second or two for it to load up and pull in. It just weird. Uh, I got used to it on the Z10. I'm sure I'll get used to it on the Q10, but just a peculiarity uh, for me as well. Let's talk about build quality a little bit. This phone feels ridiculously awesome in the hand. Uh, it doesn't have sort of the chrome accents on the side that the 9900 did, but the phone just feels really good. And I don't know what it is about it. It's not overly heavy. 
It doesn't feel all that solid. It just feels great. Um, perhaps the soft touch back, it's sort of a weaved glass thing. Um, it's probably one of the best feeling phones with the removable back that I have ever seen. So I really give BlackBerry credit. Their engineers did a really nice job putting this phone together and obviously spent a long, long time with it. Uh, the keyboard is absolutely outstanding. If I was going to pick a BlackBerry, I would probably pick the Q10 to use just I love this physical keyboard. Uh, the screen being only 720, and I say only, like six months ago, that would have been out of this world awesome. Uh, but I've gotten used to 1080p phones, and now 720 doesn't look so awesome to me. Um, but that's just me. If you're coming from an older generation phone, you, know, you probably won't even notice it, or it might not even be an issue for you. Uh, but at least for me, I'm sort of keenly aware uh, of the resolution on the phone. But, you know, I use I'm also the same guy who uses an iPad mini and doesn't mind the lower resolution on the mini versus obviously the Retina version. So I would definitely get used to that as well. Other than that, it's pretty much Z10 through and through. The camera software is the same. If you want to take a picture, you just do a little tappy on the screen. You can do that and you get a ton of options in here after things you can set. And the front facing camera, you can see Ralph doing the filming there. Hi, Ralph. Um, but everything here is pretty much Z10. The specs of it are exactly the same, down to the RAM uh, and processor. And phone is very, very quick. Uh, don't get too caught up, though, in the it's only a dual core and they're quad core and octa core out. Phone works very, very well. And QNX is really optimized um, for this phone. And it does not at any point feel underpowered to me at all. Overall, I've really liked the phone. I've really enjoyed the phone. The battery life has actually been pretty solid. Call quality has been very good. Reception has been awesome. Um, I do want to test it a little bit more and see if I can get used to it, see if I can continue to use it as my daily driver. Um, and I'll get back to you guys when I do that. Anything that you want to see me cover, though, uh, in the full review, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd most definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video.